Hi, my name is Max Casper and I'm the principal bass of Symphony Nova Scotia. And welcome to this home edition of Symphony 101. Today I thought it might be fun to look at early music performance practice. What does that mean? Well, simply put, that's the idea of playing early music, Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, in the style that those composers would have heard it. So you may ask yourself, how do we know what that music sounded like? We have no recordings. Well, we have books, or treatises as they're called, and those treatises are fairly clear about how to play music in general and how to play instruments specifically. The most important concept that I would like to stress, and really for me the concept that all others flow from, is this. That all notes are created equal, but some notes are more equal than others. And if you want, you can paint that on the side of a bar. But how do we know which notes to make more equal? Which notes should be stressed? That's the issue. So it turns out there are certain rules is kind of the wrong word. So let's call them tools. There are tools that we can use to help us decide which notes to bring out and which notes to not bring out. The first is really that there is a hierarchy of beats. So what that means is that the first beat in the bar is much stronger than the last beat in the bar. So if I had three beats in the bar, I would emphasize the first. So strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak. If I had two beats in the bar, strong, weak. And I can do this with weight or with length. So with weight or length. Which allows us to have some very interesting things happen when we have larger groups of notes. So if I had four groups of notes, I could play in so strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, or I could make the notes shorter as I go down. So that allows things to be a little different in that regard. Now what helps us do that is that the bows that were used in the Baroque and Classical era are a little different from modern bows. And these bows are actually designed to bring out the differences between the down bow, which is the stroke that starts at your hand and goes to the tip, that's the strong part, and then the up bow, which is the weak bow, which starts at the tip and goes that way. So as modern players, we work very hard to equalize those two sounds, but Baroque players, they actually want to emphasize the difference between a down bow and an up bow. When we have a slur, which is a bunch of notes under one bow, the beginning of the slur has an accent and then you taper away. <laughs> Dissonances or clashes of melody or harmony are brought out. Those notes should be emphasized as well. So if you have a jarring key note like if you're playing in C, all the white keys, and all of a sudden you play a black key, you should bring that note out. We also have two other little tools that we can use, and that is if notes are close together, we play them with longer bows. So we want to bring out, especially chromatic notes, very, very smooth. And if they're jumping, then they should be short. We play those short. So that's about it. It's a fairly... There's more, there's many more tools we can use, but for now, that would be good. And I'm going to attempt to show you these uh, tools in action by playing the Prelude to Box Second Cello Suite. Um, if you just give me a moment, get my stand and music and get set up. <laughs> 